what's going on you guys welcome back to another video so i want to talk about how a narcissist will try to sabotage anything you have going on or any good thing you have coming to you in the future and i say that because on last week i didn't do many videos because i had started working at the school where i want to get transferred to and so i'm taking the place of a person who's out sick and I was told to just stay there until, um, you know, I'm told otherwise, even when she comes back. So I'm like, well, Lord, maybe they're trying to, you know, get me in position to be there permanently. I hope so. And y'all know how much I've been speaking on this. So the person who started working there this year in a position that I want to be trained in, she associates with the narcissist. And so the lady who was out, she didn't know that that lady and I know each other and we conversate outside of work. So I had been checking on her and everything to see if she's okay and stuff like that. And she know how much, like we've been talking about this for months, even during the last school year over the summer and everything that I want to come and work there with her and the other lady, not knowing that these changes were going to take place at the beginning of august so now this person who's in that position that i'll be getting trained for soon she communicates with the narcissist and she knows how badly i want to work there i don't care about you know her friendship with the north i don't all i know is i don't want to be in the same workplace with the north and i'm pretty sure she knows this so she's kind of giving her information on what's going on over at the school where I'm at now with them. And she's telling the narc that I don't want to come back there. So what the narc does is she talks to someone who knows the lady who was out sick. And she's telling her that the lady who was out sick should watch who she talks to talking about me. Because that person might be trying to take their spot. <laughs> Little do she know that the lady already, you know, we've already talked about me coming into work and everything. And so she let me know this today. That's why I say narcissists will do anything they can to try to sabotage a good thing you have going on. Um, you know, good things you might have coming to you in the future. And so she said, I have people on the outside telling me stuff. And trying to tell me to watch myself because I have a backstabber. And I was like, what is she talking about? And she said, I didn't pay that no mind because I already know what that's all about. I know who she's in cahoots with, who's working here now. And I know how all of them communicate. And so I just thought and I put two and two together. And then I was just like, I'm just thankful for the sermon to be able to see things even when it's not even right there in front of me. So God gave me that vision to see what she was talking about. And like I say, I put two and two together together, and I just thought about it. And I'm like, yeah, and I already had figured it out. So when I talked to her today, because we've been talking every day after work. Well, she really just came back to work. And like I say, I was told by the supervisor to just stay there because if she have more complaints about her health issues and stuff like that then she may end up going on a um extended medical leave and i will be there in her position and i'm all right with that and of course she's okay with it i mean she'll be off from work so it doesn't matter who's there working in her spot but she also wants me she wants both of us to work together but it doesn't seem like it's gonna work like that so i have to return back to the school with the narc and then I'll start my training for that position I want. But in the meantime, I'm like just peeping out the dirty, the dirty things that they do to try to hurt you. And it's crazy because I don't even associate with you. I don't want to be around you. I don't want to see you. Nothing. And you are still trying to sabotage anything that I have going on. Anything that, that brings me happiness and peace of mind. She don't want to see me with it. She want to see me miserable and in her presence at all times. Like the narcissist will never let go. They will never stop trying to hurt you. 
So I was told last week, I don't know if I mentioned this to y'all, that um, before I went over to the other school that I want to get transferred to, I was told um, where her birthday is coming up Monday and we're just going to have some stuff going on. And I just stopped in her tracks like, why are you telling me this? You know, I don't want to have nothing to do with it. Like, why are you telling me? And she was like, no. And I'm like, yeah, no. She said, I understand. So that was that. So they had their little whatever at work yesterday. I don't know. And I don't care. She had things left over. She knew that I was going to end up coming back to work today. Because like I say, she talks to the people in the office. And to be honest with you, she shouldn't know anything that's going on with me and other schools and whose place I'll be taking for a while. She shouldn't even know about none of that. Like, that's confidential. But I know how they are. They messy, full of drama, and just like to run their mouth about things. And she just have, she just got to know everything that's going on with me. Like, that's right up her alley. And to know, um, you know, the next move that I'm going to make. And so she just, um... And she just kept looking at me today with that dirty smirk on her face like if it was some kind of payback time. Like she was letting me know, yeah, I warned somebody that you're trying to take their spot so they better be careful who they get close to. And little does she know me and a person we already talked. So I say, you see that person who she's communicating with to tell you things, you make sure you tell them they don't know me. And if they want to know anything about me, Give them my number and we can talk. Don't listen to anything that that person have to say because she is bent out on making me look bad to anybody. Even people who don't even know me. I mean, I mean, she does that especially to those who don't know me. It's so much easier for her to go to them with a bunch of lies. And nine times out of ten, they're going to fall for it. Because, you know, the lies are always more entertaining than the truth. That's just how it is. It's always been that way. So, um, I told her and she said, no, I'm not going to give her your number. Just let her do what it is she's doing, you know? And I just said, I just trust God in this process and whatever it is he going to do for me, you know, I receive it because I know that it's something, he got something better in store for me. Even if that mean I have to be around her, you know, she can't touch me. He's not going to let her harm me. I'm really not even worried about that i just wanted to point that out real quick that narcissists will try to sabotage anything it is you have going on they just don't want to see you happy they're miserable unhappy people and they want you to feel the same way so she comes up to me today and offer me a bottle of water she got up from eating taking her break and sitting out laughing and talking with her little friends just to get up and come in my area where i was taking a break and ask me do i want a bottle of water then she went out offering bottles of water to random people. Now, if that ain't crazy, like you can't even eat in peace because you're trying to keep tabs on me and see where I'm at. And, you know, am I happy or peaceful? I'm going to always make sure that I'm peaceful no matter where I'm at. And as long as she just stay the hell away from around me, everything will be all good until God get ready to move me from out of that position, you know, with her. So I just wanted to share that with y'all real quick. Somebody left a comment on the video a little while back saying that narcissists network. And I, that's the first thing that came to my mind. I think that was, um, dang, I don't want to mess her name up. But she always leaves comments under my videos. And I thank you for that because, you know, that's the first thing that came to my mind. And like I say, I'm thankful for a discerning spirit just to know what's really going on and i was i put two and two together just like that and when i told the lady she was like i don't know how you know and i say yeah i know i already know what it's all about i know who it is that she's networking with to put this false information out there about me so anyway that concludes this video thank y'all for watching leave your comments down below and i'll talk to you soon